There are three categories of spell crafting casters, binders, and soft runners. I call myself a spell caster, also, my position as an author exposed me to a few binding spells as well. It implies the craft of manipulating reality. In your human cultures, a spell is an invocation, or certain words put together to create a magical effect. In the cultures of enlightened beings, it represents an inner manifestation made into an outer element of reality. For instance, let's say that you wish to create a unicorn. Knowing that the creature exists within you, an orb will connect your outer universe to your inner universe. Axioms that form the unicorn will travel across the ether, across the veil, across the higher dimensions between the unicorn as it exists and you, its omnipotent dreamer. The orb will then cast that creature in your immediate environment. Spell binding involves dominion over essences and possibilities. Spell casting relates to axioms, the ether, and the veil. Mensers control axioms, those tiny quantic particles of either void, matter, life, or thought. Glancers connect themselves to souls or essences. Fencers craft the ether or the element that flows through the veil across all the worlds and dimensions carrying axioms. If the veil were an archery, the ether would be the blood, axioms would be molecules. Dancers are martial artists who manage to manipulate the veil around them, around others, around things, and around their environment. If you see a dancer fly, for instance, it's because they surf over the veil. Usually, softeners aren't experts at all those arts, but they are very versatile. Unless said softeners' name is Magduk, in, in which case, run! It is assumed that the earliest discovery of spell crafting occurred around the same time that the Lotus City appeared in the minds of prime dreamers. Every time a soul experiences its big bang, a universe expands within its existence. The Lotus City is a unified version of Safran with all the 72 worlds merged into one. It occupies the mind of a newborn whose essence had never been incarnated before. As the newborn grows up and their inner pluriverse evolves, the Lotus City vanishes and gives way to Safran. A gift will install itself in that baby's psyche the moment that their prime dreaming state evaporates and the infant learns to speak, in which case the child becomes a regular dreamer or a sleeper if no awakening is set to occur. If no connection happens between the child's psyche and the sofran within, then it is assumed that they will turn into a sleeper or someone who has no affinity with their inner safran. Sometimes sleepers will awake and 
find their path towards their dream state, but most of the time they don't. Surveys and reports have shown that any given realm of the pluriverse have about 90% sleepers for 10% dreamers. Among the awakened souls, 90% will be namelesses or dreamers who don't perform spellcrafting activities and 10% gifted ones. My name is Ali Bast Page and I'm also an author, but that's for another episode to explain. Thank you for watching.